Joe Budden responds to backlash after removing Diddy Cassie podcast segment. Following his eight o'clock, the pod should be out before eight p.m. tonight on Patreon. I had to do a little bit of editing. Domestic abuse and rape throughout their ten-year relationship. Diddy has now resolved the lawsuit with the artist and refuted all of the allegations. Joe Budden appeared on Instagram Live just before the most recent episode of the Joe Budden podcast which debuted exclusively on Patreon over the weekend, was released. In the video, Button hinted at the legal drama between the former couple and said he had to do some last-minute editing. I had to make some minor edits because you guys almost mistook me. He remarked, you guys nearly made me the sole voice saying some stuff in the world. No, that podcast this morning would have been a hit with the blogs. Nope. You got to protect your peace and the peace of your co-host sometimes, he continued. I'm not having fun with you guys. On the podcast, Button talked about the lawsuit but refrain from discussing Diddy or Cassie directly, stating instead, I don't feel like I need to come in here and have word vomit about my discernment when it comes to evil shit in the industry. Considering his track record of voicing his opinions on other contentious issues, Joe Button has come under fire from many for declining to address Cassie's accusations against Diddy. On X, the previous Twitter, a social media user commented, Joe Button is hilarious. He gave an elaborate explanation. Ella Dick Tracy, of why he believed Meg had lied about being shot, discussed Dwight Howard, DJ Envy, Jonathan Majors, and pretty much everything else. However, Diddy is now saying, I'm not the spokesperson. Pathetic Button is a clown. Someone else wrote, Joe would have destroyed any other musician or music mogul who had been accused of the same crimes as Diddy. If they had been, Button posted a comment on the Neighborhood Talks Instagram post above in response to the criticism, saying, Joe said next topic basically crying face emoji. Joe Button wrote, you know all y'all blogs will try to attach his voice to this all weekend long, so he took out his entire Diddy segment. Professionally speaking, the relationship between the former Slaughterhouse MC and Diddy dates back to 2017, the year the rapper from Pump It Up departed Complex and announced a collaboration with Revolt, the bad boy boss's company.